good morning students now we will discuss uh, one more problem in distillation how to calculate the quantity of distillate obtained and the quantity of bottom product obtained and also how to calculate the reflex ratio in distillation column separates 10000 kg per hour of 50% benzene and 50% toluene a distillation column separates 10,000 kg per hour of 50% benzene and 50% toluene. This is the feed solution here. The composition of the feed is 50% benzene and 50% toluene and the feed is entering the distillation column at 10,000 kg per hour. Next, the product ready recovered from condenser at the top of the column contains 95% benzene. That is the top product contains 95% benzene. That means we are recovering the benzene. That means benzene is the more volatile component which is having less boiling point. And the bottoms W contains 96% toluene. Bottom product contains mostly toluene. Vapor stream entering the condenser from top of the column is 8000 kg per hour. Vapor stream is 8000 kg per hour. A portion of product is returned to the column as a reflex and the rest is withdrawn as, a pro for, uh, as product for use elsewhere. Find the ratio of amount reflexed to the product withdrawn. That means reflex ratio R by D is equal to how much? That is the problem. Reflex ratio. In last uh, lectures, we have uh, calculated, we, we learned how to calculate uh, W, D and uh, R and all those things. So, how to calculate reflex ratio. First, we shall draw the uh, tab, um, diagram of the distillation column. This is distillation column. Feed F is entering here. Feed F is entering here. And let it be some kg per hour F. That is given. And then the product First V is forming, that is vapor is forming here and the vapor is being condensed and uh, after condensing this stream, a part of the stream is uh, being reflexed here, that is R and the rest of the, as in the problem it is uh, uh, described, the rest of the product that means D is withdrawn as product to, uh, to use elsewhere. So this is uh, W, okay. So, this is a um, distillation column. So, now we have this feed contains benzene and toluene. Benzene and toluene. Benzene is 50% and toluene is also 50%. And it is given that the distillate contains 95% here, this contains 95% benzene. That means what is the remaining for 5%, 5% is toluene, 5% toluene, okay. Next, uh, then the bottom product contains 96% toluene. So this contains 96% Toluene. That means the rest 4% is benzene. Therefore, 4% benzene. Okay. This is the composition given. And V is also given. And F is also given. Feed rate. rate is equal to F. So, F is equal to given as 
10,000 kg per hour. F is given as 10,000 kg per hour. Okay. So now vapor stream, vapor formed. Vapor formed is equal to V is equal to 8,000 kg per hour. This is the information that is given. And one more information is weight fraction. Here actually uh, some assumptions we will make. Uh, here some two assumptions we will make. These assumptions, assumptions uh, in every problem we make actually. They may or may not be mentioned in the problem. One is uh, 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 the percentages are mentioned by weight or by moles it is not mentioned. When it is not mentioned anything then we should assume that uh, um, assume that all percentages all percentages given assume that all percentages given given are in weight percent okay this is one assumption and another assumption is here v is forming here v contains both a and b r contains a and b d also contains a and b so the composition composition of streams streams v r and d are same okay composition is same here because same amount of vapor that is formed is being condensed the same only a part is reflected here so composition is not changing so this is another assumption we will make next what else is given here so now the before start working out the problem let us name the components benzene and toluene which is component a and which is component b let let benzene is component a let benzene is component a this naming is very important because for component a only we write xf xd and xw this is very important so, uh, XF means weight fraction of benzene in feed. XD means weight fraction of benzene in distillate. XW, weight fraction of benzene in uh, bottom product. So, that is a residue. So, naming is important. Why we have selected benzene as a component A? Because distillate contains 95% benzene. So, benzene is a more volatile component because uh, benzene is a more volatile component okay more volatile component and uh, uh, low boiling point low boiling point compared to toluene compared to toluene we are saying because though boiling points are not given for benzene and toluene we are able to make out that uh, benzene boiling point is less than uh, boiling point of toluene because more amount of benzene is present in the distillate okay so now therefore naturally toluene is a component b like that we should name the components first next what else information is given here weight fraction of a that is benzene weight fraction of a in field that is given which is represented by xf xf is benzene is 50 percent so 0 0.5 then weight fraction of benzene in distillate in the distillate that is xd okay xd xd is equal to how much 95 percent benzene is present 
here. 95 means 0.95. Okay. Next weight fraction of benzene in bottoms. Bottoms or residue. XW equal to here. Uh, bottoms contains 96% toluene. Therefore, the rest 4 percentage is benzene. 4 percent so 0 0.04. In some problems, they give uh, a component a percent only directly. So, it depends. You have to check properly which percentage is given. If component A percentage is given, take directly. If component B percentage is given, subtract from 100 and you take that remaining percentage. Okay. So, we got all the values now. So, this is the information given. Then your question is R by D is equal to how much? That is reflex ratio. R is what? Reflex. Amount of uh, here, this one. Amount that is reflected to the distillation column. And D is the distillate that is the actual product obtained. Okay. So, we need to calculate this. So, uh, but what are given here? F and F and V are given. F and V are given. So, first we need to calculate W and then R. So, write the overall balance. Overall balance. We have uh, discussed in detail overall balance and uh, drawing the columns and all that. Now we are writing directly. So, F is equal to uh, here, this one. So, F is equal to D plus W. Let it be equation Y. Okay. Then, uh, benzene balance. Benzene balance. Uh, benzene balance is F XF. That is F XF is equal to D XD plus W. In this benzene is, this is XW. Okay. This is XW. So, this is here we have XD and here we have a X. So, W XW. Let it be equation 2. These are the two balances and uh, we need to substitute the values. So, D plus W equal to 10,000. Let it be equation 3 because F is given as 10,000 kg per hour. Now, benzene here. D XD. XD is 0 0.95. So, 0 0.95 XD plus W X W W X W is point zero four so point zero four W is equal to F X F F is ten thousand into point five okay that means point nine five X D equal to five thousand let it be equation four. Now we have two equations, equation 3 and equation 4. Okay? So here, sorry, not XD. This is D. Okay? So two equations. One is D plus W. So in terms of D and W. Here also in terms of D and W, one more equation. So solving, solving 3 and 4 we get D and W ok so these values are five zero five four point nine four. since F is in kg per hour this also in a kg per hour ok next 
seven. This is also in the kg per day. Okay. Thus we got the, the amount of distillate. Distillate. Distillate is top product. Okay. And this is a bottom product. Bottom product. Okay. This is also called as a residue. So we got the, we could calculate uh, D and W. But our question is actually to calculate reflex ratio. To calculate reflex ratio, uh, you need to write the material balance over the uh, condenser. So to the condenser, if you say here, arrow mark up here. Okay, this is arrow mark. So this is the condenser here. This is the condenser. So condenser balance. Condenser balance. To the condenser, V is entering, okay? V is entering and leaving out two strains are there. That is R plus B. So this is a condenser balance. So it will be question 5. So divide with the D here. V by D is equal to R by D plus 1. Therefore, R by D. We need to calculate the reflex ratio R by D. So this is V by D minus 1. Okay. So what is V? 8000 8000 divided by d is 5054.94 here v by d minus 1 its value is uh, uh, 0 0.5826 0 0.5826 okay so this is the reflex ratio reflex ratio r by d so what is the meaning of this reflex ratio is 0 0.583 nearly say 0 0.583 what is the meaning of this is uh, for every 1 kg of uh, distillate obtained, we need to reflex 0.583 kg of the uh, that product. Okay. So, for every R by D is 0.583. For every 1 kg, we need to reflex 0.583 kg to the back to the distillation column. Thank you.